Hello students. Today we will create a new game in Scratch and we will name the project as Hungry Shark Game. So, as you've guessed it well, we do not want the cat sprite. And in the stage, in the backdrops, we will choose a backdrop of underwater. So, we can say underwater and I choose this underwater backdrop. Now we we'll look for the sprites and in the search I'm looking for a fish. So I take this fish one then I reduce its size from 100 to maybe 60. This is a good size. I take another sprite of another fish Okay, I'll take this one but change its costume from here the costumes I will take this fish D or if I want fish B or fish C okay I like fish C I'll take fish C here and now I will take one shark fish a shark here so this is shark 1 and this is shark 2 so I will take this shark 2 and this is my shark to here. Now, in the costume of the shark, I can see she has got three costumes. Shark 2A, Shark 2B and Shark 2C. So, A, B, C. Now, in the coding, <clears throat> I will start with events. When the green flag is clicked, I want to change the costumes of the shark's face. So I have to go to looks and change to next costume. But it has to happen forever. So from control, I bring forever and put next costume. Now when I press the green flag, can you see the costume is changing but it is happening very very fast one after the other. So I will put a weight in between the change of costume. And change 1 to maybe 0 0.1 now when I run this so can you see the change of costume is happening and in between the change of costumes the waiting time is 0 0.1 seconds so this is one set of commands for the shark another set of commands is that the shark should start moving wherever my mouse pointer is going it should go to that position so Again, in the events, I drag when the green flag is clicked. Now, in the motion, we have this go to random position. And instead of random position, we want it to go to mouse pointer. And that should happen forever. Let us run this now. So you can see, the shark is going wherever my mouse pointer is going. Okay, I stop this. You can either do go to mouse pointer or you can make the character glide from the motion. If I say glide in one second to mouse pointer. Now, when I run this, the fish is gliding wherever my mouse pointer is there. If I'm pointing at this small fish, it is coming here. If I pointing here, it is coming here. So that looks much better. It is slowly gliding and coming to that position. But as I'm glide, as if the, if my mouse's point is here, the fish is gliding backwards. It is, in the front it is pointing to the mouse pointer and in the back it is just gliding backwards. So I need the fish to point towards my mouse pointer. So here, from the motion I bring it, that it should point towards mouse pointer. Now when I press the green flag, so it is first pointing towards my mouse pointer. See now it is pointing towards my mouse pointer and then gliding there. But as I am bringing it to the left hand side, the body of the fish is turning all over. So to make sure the body does not turn all around, in the 
motion blocks i can bring set rotation style left right in the beginning or from the direction i can change her direction to left and right now when i run this so it is coming this way and again this way the whole body did not turn only the left and right side of the body is turning if i change this number of seconds from 1 i change it to 0 0.5 Will the shark move slower or faster? Let us see. Now, within half a second, the shark is gliding to my mouse pointer. So, it is moving faster. It is gliding in half a second. Earlier, it was gliding in one second. So, this is how you can make the movement faster or slower for the shark. Okay. Now we will do the coding for the fish. So I start with the first fish. Again in events when the green flag is clicked and from control the fish will be moving forward forever. It will move 10 steps and when it touches the edge of this stage it should bounce back. Now when I run this so can you see this fish orange fish is moving in the right side direction 90 and then bouncing back in the direction minus 90 and this will happen forever and while it is moving back in the left side the whole body is turning so we will have to make some amends here in the coding the body should not turn completely so we change the rotation style to left and right and also we will have to change this direction a little bit so, from the direction here, we will give it a little turn. Any turn you can give, little bit, any turn, anywhere. So, in the beginning, when the green flag is clicked, the fish starts moving that way. And then, it starts moving all over the stage. Right? So, the fish is moving all over the stage. And if you feel it is moving very fast, you can change it to move 5 steps. Now, when I see... It is going to move slower okay if you don't want it to uh, move so much up and down you can give it a little less angle of direction in the beginning so it will travel like this not too much of an angle it will travel now we have to do the coding that as soon as the shark touches the fish the fish should be eaten away okay so let us do that coding for the fish. So now here in the fish forever, we will have to bring a if command. Uh, here I'll put in the forever block. And in this blank part for the if, we have to put a condition to be checked. So the condition to be checked is, this is the coding for the fish, right? So we have to check as soon as the fish touches the shark. So in sensing, we have this first command, touching mouse pointer. I bring it and pull it here. And when I click on this small arrow, here it will show the name of all the other characters. So my other character is shark. So when this fish one touches the shark, as soon as it touches the shark, the small fish should hide itself. So from looks, it will hide as if it has been eaten by this shark. Also, it will. The, uh, we want a sound, a biting sound should come. As if the shark is biting into the small fish. So we go into the sounds. And from the library of sounds, I will search for a bite sound. I find my bite sound here. And in the coding... In the sound blocks, I use play sound bite. Now, the bite sound will come. And also, now the fish should appear at another random position on the stage. After it has got hidden. So, let me just play till here when I press the green flag. Now, as soon as the shark touches the, the small fish, you could hear that the sound of biting. And also the fish has got hidden. 
so now the fish should appear again because we have to continue with the game so we have to now make the small fish go to a random position anywhere on the stage on a random position it will go and then it should show over there so this is the show command now when i press the green flag so now why that fish is not showing children can you think yes because here it had got hidden so again it will remain hidden so to make it show in the beginning we have to put the show command so now when i press the green flag the fish shows at any position and then starts moving see now as soon as the shark touches the fish it hides and then goes to a new random position and starts moving all over the screen from there again when the shark touches the fish it hides makes the sound biting sound and goes to new position and shows i hope you understand these commands of if block touching shark playing sound and going to a random position you can do the same coding for the other fish so how do we begin from events when the green flag is clicked it should show in the beginning because we'll be hiding it later and also we have to change the direction from motion set rotation style left and right and control it will move forever 10 steps or you want 5 steps and if on edge it should bounce back and we have to check for the condition as soon as if it touches from sensing when it touches the shark then this yellow fish which we we are doing the coding for should be hiding and it should play the sound so let us see does it have the sound of the biting here no it doesn't have so we have to import the sound from the library the biting sound for the yellow fish and now we have the bite sound and then it will go to a random position and appear over there show over there now let us make it run in the full screen when i press the green flag both the fishes are moving around and as soon as this yellow fish is touched it is biting into it this is biting into it this is biting into it yeah fun it is can you see both the fishes it is eating now likewise you can make as many fishes or other creatures as you want or you can change the game where you have something some other character trying to catch another character by touching it so it's your creativity and your programming skills which will help you to make a new game happy coding